Well, I thought I'd give you just a little bit of an update here. We had a little bit of a rain shower here this morning. I've got a video in the pipeline here, but I've just not had time to edit it. It was from uh, Monday, which marks the two-week point from which we started planting corn here, and we've only got a few days left. So it looks like we're going to be able to get going here in a little bit of a while. We had a little bit of a breeze here uh, this morning. This uh, field is planted along with the other one on the hedge, the other side of the hedgerow over there. I had some issues with um, the fertilizer discs on this corn planter. And the trouble we ran into was I went to replace the fertilizer disc the other day. And the scraper that comes up along the side of the fertilizer disc I had new ones however every single one of them that we had uh, they were all for the right side of the disc this is a right one this is a left one they had a 6-6 six, six part number and a 6-7 six, part number the 6-7s this is a 6-7 six, the 6-6s six, were labeled 6-6s six, but they were actually these ones here. And uh, I had to run this scraper here for a while until we just got some new ones. And every once in a while I'd have to get off and clean out the crap that got wedged in on this side of the scraper. So I always carry a crescent wrench with me, which is, this is a new one here. And I must have left it laying on the ground after I got done screwing around with the fertilizer disc, so I had to grab a new one. And this one here, believe it or not, has metric on one side and standard here on the other one, on the other side. This is actually a John Deere adjustable wrench, part number TY19945. Now, it's six inches long, and I imagine it's good for... Uh, maybe 21 or 2 millimeter or 13 sixteenths or 7 eighths so for those of you that are using these style fertilizer discs that is the correct part or that is the part number for the left side it's an a h or uh, i can't quite read that a one one eight four six six or something like that I put these on uh, the other day, and uh, the ones that travel where the tractor rides uh, wear out a little faster. We've got our wheels adjusted right, but um, just the dirt that you spill out from between the tires and whatever, they, uh, they do a little more work. So it looks like we're going to be able to get going. I'll try to get that video edited up. I thought I would just get on here and... Do a little bit of an update video, but we could potentially get an inch of rain this afternoon. We lack a little bit on this farm. We ought to be able to get done in the next couple hours. So take it easy. We'll catch you at the next one.